Hi everyone, our tour guides have a lot of questions that they want to answer for about Bridgewater State University. So we created a short video so that you can have all those frequently asked questions in the same place. So enjoy! I chose BSU because I visited campus a few times and every time I stepped foot whether it was in University Park or Borden Quad, it just felt so warm and welcoming. And I loved everything about the community and the size of the school. It wasn't too big or too small. And everyone seemed to know each other, which was really important. I didn't want to walk around a campus and not know 90% of the people I was seeing. Um, but my tour guide said hi to like every single person we walked by, and it just seemed like a really tight-knit community, and throughout my four years, that's exactly what it is and what it will continue to be. And that made me love BSU then and love BSU now. Today, what I wanna to talk to you guys about is why I chose Bridgewater State University. So for me, Bridgewater was a really smart choice just because I'm an elementary ed major and I mean Bridgewater is so well known for their education program so it was really special to me right from the get-go. But why I actually chose Bridgewater was because as soon as I stepped on campus, I felt like I was home. Everyone from the students, the faculty, the ladies that work at Starbucks, custodians, everyone wants you to feel like family at Bridgewater. One piece of advice I would give an incoming student is to get involved. Whether it's joining Greek life or going to your RA's events or joining another club, um, even getting a job on campus, um, it really helps with making friends, time management, it has a great impact on your academics, and it really just integrates you into the BSU community, which is super important as a student. So uh, one of my favorite spots is University Park. Uh, University Park is a wide open green space for all students to use. Uh, it is wireless friendly on campus also. So I'll do a lot of my homework out there on nice days when a bunch of my friends from my fraternity are playing spike ball, football, things like that. Uh, I do tons of group projects out there also. Um, and there's tons of large scale events out there. Um, so sometimes there's food trucks walking to class. You just grab an ice cream cone or some tacos or popcorn or those are just some examples. Um, and then there's the involvement fair, how to get involved on campus, and then homecoming and parents and alumni weekend. Um, I think that's one of the best events we have on campus. Um, kind of brings us all together as a community to University Park and to bring us all together and to show everyone why it's always a great day to be a bear. The question I'm answering is, are there things to do over the weekend um, at Bridgewater? So yeah, there are a lot of things to do over the weekend. Um, we have a big population of students who are commuter students, but that doesn't mean that on the weekends there's nobody around campus. Um, a lot of our uh, clubs and organizations will put on events, Program Council being one of our biggest clubs on campus. Um, they do a lot of fun things for us. So bingo games, um, bingo nights, open mic nights, um, poetry slams, um, a hypnotist has come before. So a lot of fun things to do, as well as a whole bunch of our sporting events that happen um, e each season. So you can go to those games. Um, and then when it's nice out, we have a lot of green area um, on campus in our quads and stuff. So students are out there hanging out with their friends, doing some homework. Um, whatever just to pass the time by. Whether you're a freshman or a transfer student, I think it's really important to remember that we're not all going down the same path and we shouldn't be constantly comparing our journey to other people's. I know my first few years I compared myself to the people around me and I was like, well, I'm not getting an internship right away. I'm not doing this right away. And that's because that wasn't my journey. So comparing myself wasn't helping me it was slowing me down so just remember that your path is your path for a reason and you just need to do it on your own time and not compare yourself to the people around you sports are a great way to get involved on campus and meet new people so we have 22 division three sports we have 10 club sports teams and we also have intramurals so with our division three sports it's going to be the most commitment out of our three tiers of sports that we offer. Um, you'll be traveling, playing other sports teams, um, practicing often. For our club sports teams, it will be less of a commitment, um, maybe practicing a few times a week, as well as having a couple games. You still will be traveling and playing other schools. If you're interested in playing a D3 sport or a club sport, I definitely recommend reaching out to the coach um, so they know that you're interested in playing. 
We also have intramurals. So intramurals are offered by the school um, only for BSU students. There's an array of sports that are offered. If you want to play, you create a team and you'll be playing another team of BSU students um, a couple nights a week just to have fun and um, get some weekly exercise in. Um, I play for the BSU women's ice hockey team and it has been thus far a wonderful experience. Um, one of the best things that I joined at BSU. Um, as soon as I walked in the locker room, I knew that I had found my place on campus and I'm so lucky to form all the friendships that I did. It's also helped me a lot with time management, balancing my student life with my sports uh, life as a student athlete. So it's helped me out a lot. If you have any questions with um, athletics, please visit bsubears.com. In my opinion, BSU is a super safe campus. Whether it's walking from class or going to a friend's residence hall, I've always felt really safe. And I know that BSU puts a lot of effort into safety precautions for our campus. So we do have our own separate police department on campus, and that consists of 22 fully trained police officers. And they're there to make sure that everyone on campus is feeling safe and that everyone has the resources they need to be safe. Uh, we also have our blue light system. So blue lights are blue light posts that have an emergency button on them. So if you're feeling unsafe or there's any sort of emergency, you can press that button and a BSU police officer will be dispatched to your location. We also have an alarm system. So in the case of an emergency that will affect our campus, the alarm will go off and sound throughout our, our entire campus. Um, and a student or the student and their emergency contact will get a text, a phone call, and an email saying why it went off, what precautions to take, and any updates as needed. We also have a bus system. So our bus system is fantastic. I take the buses all the time. So they run on a continuous loop from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then they have other set stops from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. And then from 2 a.m. to 7 a.m., the BSU PD non-emergency line is open in the case that you really do not feel safe walking home. They can come and pick you up and bring you where you need to go. Well, clearly, BSU really cares about student safety. Um, they care so much about our community, and that shows in all of the safety precautions that they take. A frequently asked question that us tour guides have been getting a lot lately is, do you feel like BSU has done a good job making sure students are taken care of during the COVID-19 pandemic? Um, basically, my answer is yes. Um, with all everything that's been going on, I've been very proud to call myself a BSU Bear, very happy that I go to Bridgewater. Um, one of the biggest things for me as a senior um, was commencement and whether or not that would still be happening. Um, obviously, it's not still happening in May, uh, but our president of the university, Fred Clark, he did make a guarantee to all students that commencement wouldn't be canceled, um, just rescheduled. Um, so that's a very big thing for us. Um, and other than that, we've gotten constant updates from professors and other administration about classes and refunds and all sorts of things. Um, and that's been very nice uh, because it has shown that our, our opinions matter, our voices matter. Um, people are keeping us in the loop. They're communicating to us effectively. Even though they don't have the answer, they tell us all the updates they can and kind of give us as many answers as they can. Um, so it's really proven that BSU is a very strong community that they care about us here. Um, and so, yes, uh, they've done a good job taking care of us. Very proud to be going to Bridgewater during this time. Are there a lot of job opportunities on campus? Is there work, study, and are there job opportunities off campus? So the answer to that is yes to everything. Um, on campus, we do offer work study and we also have non-work study um, and really anyone can get a job on campus. If you're extroverted, you can be a tour guide, you can be an orientation leader, a resident assistant, or even if you just want a quiet job at an office, we offer those as well. There's just a whole bunch of different options. And when it comes to off-campus jobs, there are so many little stores around town, which is right down the street from BSU. And it's really easy to get a job at like say the 99 or a gas station or even like the little cute smoothie place down the street. They're always looking for college students. So finding a job is never a problem. So the answer to the first question is that 93% of graduates were employed six months to a year after graduating. So a pretty good number there. Um, and the answer to the second question is that, um, first of all, they can ask their faculty and staff in their own academic department. Uh, to see what connections they have um, within their fields. 
Um, that might be more helpful for students sometimes to get a more focused group of jobs that they can acquire and prepare for. Um, but if they don't want to go that route, they can always go down to the Career Services Office at BSU in the Campus Center. Um, they provide a lot of services for students to not only acquire jobs, but also prepare for those jobs. Um, there are career counselors available to students. Um, those will help students choose majors, um, build effective interviewing skills, plan for graduate school. Um, they also host a bunch of events and programs throughout the year to help students as well. Um, those might include job fairs, career panels, uh, practicing for interviews, and etc. One of the scariest parts of college is figuring out your major, and so for a lot of students coming in their first year, that means that you're coming in undecided. I did the same thing, and my advice to you would be to try to take those requirement classes to graduate, so your English 101, your English 102, your math requirement, your science requirement, try to get those out of the way um, your first semester, or a couple of them anyway, so by the time you get to your second semester, you've had time to sort of think about what you might want to do. Another thing that I did is I looked into majors that I was interested in, so communications, business, management, I took all of those, I found the first um, requirement for that whole major, um, all the graduation requirements, I found the first one, I took those along with my first year classes and kind of got the idea of what I liked and what I didn't like. Don't be scared, Bridgewater makes it easy, your advisors are going to be there to help you through every step of the way, and it's going to be awesome, I promise. Hi guys, um, so one of the more complex questions we get on tour sometimes is how you build your schedule or go about picking your classes uh, once you get admitted to BSU. So the first step after admission is placement testing. Um, it's kind of like an SAT type test. You just do basic math and basic English um, and based on those scores that you get on those tests you will get placed into particular classes that fit the level that um, we think you're at based off of your test scores. Um, after that, you do get to go to orientation, whoop whoop, super super fun, um, and once you're there, the orientation leaders will be helping you choose your classes. Um, we do have our core curriculum, so those are classes that you're actually required to take through BSU, um, and then they help you um, build your schedule, making sure you're knocking out requirements within your major as well, making sure you're staying on track. So it definitely sounds a little complicated, but it's really not. It's something that's super simple and super easy, um, and something that the orientation leaders are definitely there to help you out with. Hey guys, so here at BSU we do have a high speed and secure Wi-Fi network. Uh, you can access it from any of your devices. All you need to do is log on once with your BSU username and password, and you can access the Wi-Fi anywhere on campus. And since we are a wireless campus, you can use the Wi-Fi not only in your residence hall or the library, you can also access it outside anywhere on campus. So sometimes when it's nice out, you'll see people in University Park doing their homework there. But anywhere on campus, you have access to Wi-Fi that's fast, that's secure, and that works. Um, as a lifelong picky eater, um, I have always been very happy with the food at BSU. Um, there are four dining halls available to us. Um, they have a whole variety of food in every dining hall. They kind of do have everybody's favorite. They uh, are also very health conscious um, and very considerate of people's dietary and allergy restrictions. Um, there are sections in every dining hall for students who are uh, vegan, uh, gluten-free. They are always happy to make accommodations for students who do have um, allergies or restrictions of any kind. Um, I knew somebody who had an airborne allergy to mushrooms and they were able to call food services ahead of time on nights when the dining halls were making something with mushrooms and get their food um, delivered to them personally. So BSU is always really um, conscious of students' health, safety, and comfort um, because that's food is an important thing you want to feel taken care of when you're not at home. Um, so hopefully you will love the food at BSU just as much as we do. What are the accommodations for people with disabilities? So here at Bridgewater, we do have a lot of ways to accommodate people with disabilities, whether it be an IEP or if you broke your arm in the middle of the semester and you need somebody to help you take notes or anything like that. So you can actually go right to the AAC, which is our Academic Achievement Center, which is located in our Maxwell Library on the ground floor. Um, inside the Academic Achievement Center is one of our um, offices called Disability Resources. So you can go right in there, fill out the proper paperwork and everything like that, and they'll make sure you're situated for the rest of the semester. If you're sick or injured on campus, visit the Wellness Center located at the bottom of Wagon Hall. Here we have nurse practitioners here to help you with things from the common cold to counseling sessions and many other programs. For instance, when I injured my wrist, I was easily able to set up an appointment and get it checked out within no time. 
Another big choice that students have to make when going away to college is deciding whether or not they want to commute to school or whether they want to live on campus. As somebody who has lived at BSU all four years of going here, I would definitely recommend everybody try it at least once. It is great for, um, you know, being a part of the social scene at BSU. It's a great way to make friends and it's a great way to get involved. Um, so living on campus puts you close to all of your classes. It puts you close to events that you may want to attend, um, puts you close to activities that you may want to participate in. Um, BSU has about 3,500 resident students per year, which makes for a nice, lively community. Um, there are 11 total residence halls, four designated for first-year students. So if you are coming in as a first-year student, you will live in one of those four halls. Um, but it has been one of my favorite parts of uh, my, my whole college experience, um, the BSU um, resident scene is really awesome. So um, I would definitely recommend that everybody try it at least once if possible. Hi, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some opportunities um, and what it's like to live off campus and go to BSU. Um, so for my entire first year, I commuted to Bridgewater State University. Um, and the thing is, is a lot of people are worried about commuting because they think maybe they won't have the same opportunities as other people. Um, or they might not be able to participate in as many events and stuff. And I can tell you that at BSU, that's not how it works. Um, so in my first semester, I joined program council. I got a job on campus as a tour guide. Here I am. Um, I even declared a second major. So there's a bunch of different organizations and clubs that you can join. There's hundreds of them that run out of Oso. There's anything right down to the cheese club. If you want to go and join them and try cheese, um, I hear they're really good. Um, I'm surprised they haven't, you know, collaborated with our pickle club. Um, just by those two, you can tell that we have a bunch of random clubs and stuff. Um, but we also have a very good Greek life presence. Um, and they're not like the fraternities and sororities that you see in like popular media and stuff like that. We're mostly philanthropy based. Um, I want to make sure everybody has the opportunity to join clubs and organizations if they want to. Um, so you can totally go out and join if you want to. You know, join the dance club, you can join the dance club. Um, there's a bunch of different things. And if you don't really find where you belong and you know that you want to get involved, um, we have this neat place called the Office of Student Involvement and Leadership. And you can stop by there and you can go and talk to them and they'll help you find the right fit for you. Are cars allowed on campus and house parking? So as a first year student, um, cars are not allowed on campus unless there's some kind of underlying circumstance. Or if you are an aviation student, those are the only two circumstances where you can have your car on campus as a first year student. However, going up in the years, if you're coming in as a sophomore, junior, or senior, you are allowed to have your car on campus. You just need to purchase a parking pass through the Parking Connect Card office. The parking on campus is actually super awesome. There's different parking lots for commuters and residents. So your parking pass will be based on whether you're a commuter or a resident student, and then you'll park in your assigned uh, parking lot. We have the BSU Transit, which is our campus buses that go from east side to west side campus and then to our uh, commuter lot that's a little bit off campus, but not far, uh, Spring Lot. The BSU Transit also has a Route 28, which goes to BAT in Brockton. Uh, it's a bus stop in Brockton, and it also, on the return route, makes a stop at King's Wood Village. I know the bus is my favorite because on those cold winter days you don't want to walk in the rain or the snow or the freezing weather to get to class. We also are lucky enough to have an MBTA commuter rail uh, stop at our campus right behind our Crimson and Wagon Hall. Um, this is very nice because it gives you the opportunity to um, be able to maybe do an internship or a job in Boston if you don't have your own transportation to get there as well as um, if you want to spend a day in Boston with your friends, or if we're lucky enough that Boston is hosting a championship parade. And on the app, our school app, we have a BSU Transit bus tracker, um, and we also has the MBTA schedule. The tracker app allows you to track each bus stop. It tells you how long the bus is going to be there, what lines are running, and where the bus is located. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any other questions about the admissions process, you're more than welcome to email them. Their email is admissions at bridgew.edu. If you want to talk to a current student or ask them any more questions, you're more than welcome to email bridgewaterguides at bridgew.edu. Thanks.